just feel really blessed that the broadcaster SABC3 have come to the party and seen the potential in high rollers and decided to back it and push it into three days a week. So my character is David King. Um, I used to run the casino in season one. By the end of season one, I've lost my casino to my brother. Um, so we pick up in season two, where I'm trying desperately to keep my marriage together and uh, try and get back my casino. He's a very complicated character, um, very complex. He's very selfish um, and very self-interested. And he always tries to do things his way. Um, it's not always for the best. TT is a good husband, a good friend, and I would say he's the moral barometer for the entire story. He is in the middle of two brothers who are complete polar opposites. One is the quintessential religious moral person and the other one is completely on the, on the polar end which is unscrupulous, who is backstabbing, conniving, money hungry and what Titi does is he balances the two king brothers which then becomes the three kings of high rollers. Titi uh, was his best friend but it turns out Titi is also his half brother so it's three brothers. Uh, Paul killed his father, he seemingly thought he killed his father about 18 years ago and he ended up spending time in prison. And during that time, he became reborn and he's, he's come out and he sees the world in, in a slightly different way. And, and he's trying to make a difference. But the truth is, and I guess the question we're constantly asking is, has he changed? Or is he still that guy with the short fuse that eventually is going to snap? I'm Elena King, but I'm the queen too, right? But family means everything to me. I've got three sons and I love them dearly, but they're always up in arms. They're, they're, they're always um, fighting for power and I want peace for them. I want to say you've got cushy jobs, penthouses, enough money, don't be greedy. Life is more important than money and greed. I'm playing Helena King, the Helena King. I own the casino, I'm powerful and I'm rich. But I love my family. The theme of High Rollers, um, when we created the show, we always wanted to do something about themes we thought we see a lot in South African households and families and um, things that are really important to South Africans are family, money and faith. We're a culture of faith here um, and so that's really the, the different themes within High Rollers all tie around those three pillars. I play the role of Annelien King. She's married to David King. She comes from not such a good background so in her case it's quite a situation of nouveau riche and she's a bit of a desperate housewife. She's a bit bored. She doesn't have to do anything. She's got enough money to do whatever she wants. And then she drinks. <laughs> We've added on an entire new show bar section. This is the Venus show bar. Um, so it has a performance space behind me where we can get dancers and musicians performing. It has a bar area over there. And then it has three separate uh, booth areas. Hi, I'm Carol Oliphant. I'm the art director for High Rollers. Hi, I'm Namonde Ngema. I'm the set dresser for High Rollers. Season two. The look and feel of this whole um, High Rollers season two, it's that it's, it's classy, it's glamorous, it's elegant. And we've used like different colors for different sets. Um, like right where we are right now, it's a casino. So we've, reached the, we've used the golds and the maroons that represent the power and the wealth. And then we've got other sets like TTs, it's like greys and grey, which is your, like your neutral colour. And then we've got like the greens that okay. are popping there and there to represent the envy of Fuku. So favourite location to shoot, um, even though we've gone to some really exotic places, probably the best place has been Empress Palace. Um, being on the main casino floor, you just feel this like vibe of like, there's so many people there pursuing their dreams and some people's dreams are getting crushed and other people's dreams are getting raised up. But uh, the production value you get, it just looks so opulent and so big. Um, it's been really exciting and we've had people who've been drunk yell at us, action or cut, like in the middle of takes and uh, people walk through the frame and people come over and talk talk to you, but um, yeah, there's something really exciting about shooting in that live environment. I play Michelle Jefter. She started out as a very innocent ballerina who um, was on her way to going to the New York School of Ballet. That whole dream was cancelled when her dad ended up in the casino, 
gambling all of their savings, which was meant to pay for Michelle's trip to New York. And she starts dancing at the casino and falling in love with the owner, who actually happens to be the murderer of her dad. And she ends up, at the end of season one, discovering that he is the one behind it all. It's got all the different elements. As soon as you think that you know what's going on, there's another element coming in that just surprises you, it kicks you from behind. And, and that's a cool thing for me uh, that is, it keeps it different from other things, is that it's always got the element of surprise, which I love about High Rollins. Uh, you never know what to expect. So my character is Ben King. I am the son of Paul King, but I was the son of David King, and then I figured out that he's not my real dad. He was pretending to be my real dad while Paul King was in prison. My character is Danny, and she is a dealer who started out as a waitress, but she's worked her way up. And she comes from a very wealthy family that she's had to leave because of them wanting to arrange a marriage for her. And she's quite headstrong and quite ambitious, so she wants to create her own path in life and carve out her own niche. So she's here working her way up and finding love and also quite nosy and likes to gossip. So she plays an important part in moving the story along for the King family and getting the viewers up to date with what's happening. In the last season, she was involved in a casino heist with Ben and Esme, uh, which Ravi got involved to protect her, and that didn't work out so well for them. But on the plus side, she ended up seeing what a great guy he can be, and she's now dating him. My character is Ravi. He's the bartender at the King's Casino. He's pretty much this quirky, happy-go-lucky guy who um, interacts with pretty much everyone. Um, and yeah, just sits sometimes behind the scenes, sometimes, you know, filtering in and filtering out. What I love about High Rollers, I watched the first season. I'm a new character in season two. I love the fact that it's fast paced and the stakes are high. It is set in a casino after all. The stakes are high on the tables, the stakes are high emotionally. It's exciting for me. It's my first time working with the Ross brothers. I've been wanting to work with them for a while. So that's fantastic. And also it's a killer cast. The quality of actors and the quality of acting, you know, as an actor is something that's just really, especially a new young actor, was really inspiring to me and really amazing to work with the caliber of talent that, that's there. For example, I mean, there's Justin Stratum, there's Fezi Lembele, there's um, Olele Shabalala. These guys are people I've looked up to, people who are, whose careers I wanted to emulate, people whose reputations are rock solid and things. It's such an honor to be sharing screen time with them. That's what I love most about High Rollers. I mean, it's the, you don't get scripts like this every day. I like High Rollers because you're working with a group of very talented actors and the drama that's necessary, the tension that's necessary, and all the nuances that go into bringing characters to life has been put together and preceded in the amount of characters that we have and all the wonderful, talented cast that we have. It does not come easily just um, producing a show of this size and this quality. I think what we've really been focusing on is trying to get um, the quality of the writing to the point that it was last year. So we have 156 episodes a year we need to shoot. We're going out three days a week. It's, it's a much higher volume of work that we need to get out. So we knew we needed to get um, people who knew the story and the characters from last time and who did such a great job. Henriette Greifenberg, who was nominated as Best Head Writer for High Rollers in 2013 for the work she did there from the Safters. So we got her back and we started building a team around her and developing that team of writers and storyliners. If the story isn't there, I don't think South Africa is going to watch it. Um, but I think the story is there and I think South Africa is going to come along with us on this journey. Rollers, 29th June, Mondays to Wednesdays at 7.30. Find it on 3.